All right, in this video, I'll show you how to unpivot data across multiple columns. Let's say that you have a table like this, Q1 target, Q1 actual, and Q2 target, Q2 actual, and so on. And you want to turn this table into something that is a little bit more um, easier to manipulate, to analyze in further types of situations. You want to put it into a table where the header fields are not also double timing as a value field. So we have our names, our quarters, targets, and our actuals, and they don't represent potentially values too. So this is something where you might get uh, when you get a table like this and you pivot it to, to look like this. But So how do we take a table like this, maybe we got it from somebody else, and we turn it back into a, a proper table here where we can do some further analysis. Well, I'll show you how to do that. I put this data into another sheet and we have the sheet here. And this, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Power Query uh, tool that is in Excel. Now, if you have Excel uh, 2016, this is already part of Excel under the Data tab, under the Get and Transform group. If you have Ex Excel versions 2013 or 2010, you're going to have to download the Power Query add-in from Microsoft.com and enable it. But uh, in this particular version of Excel 2016, it's here. What you need to do first is turn this into a table and then bring it into Power Query. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a table, press Control T. It's going to bring up the Create Table window. And my table does have headers. These are the headers that we're going to change later on. But I'm going to click OK. And it's going to turn into a table. And I am going to go back to Data and have it get it from this table. Now, incidentally, we didn't really have to go to that table, particular table um, step. Now, one thing I forgot to bring up is uh, you really actually didn't have to go through that create table step. Let me close this and discard that. Let me control Z to undo that table, right? So if I select anywhere in the cell and I go to data and from table, it's going to go through that exact step. So I didn't have to go do control T. But I find it good practice when you have data like this to turn it into a table because uh, there's a lot of good features in the table that you can do. But anyways, let me go and click OK. And it's going to bring up the Power Query window. And this is where I'm going to do some of the manipulation. What we need to do is take this data, this, this Q2 data, and make it its own column. What we're going to do is we're going to unpivot these columns. We're going to keep this column static, but unpivot the rest of these columns. I'm gonna right, I selected this column, right click, and say unpivot other columns. Now I have this column here which was what I had before and I have these attribute columns. I want to separate these Q1s or these uh, Q numbers, right? They're always going to be the same. And we're going to split some of the values within this column. You can see that if I go to text column the split is grayed out because I have two of these columns selected. I'll just select this column now and I'm going to split this column by delimiter, or actually probably by the number of characters, right? Because there's only going to be two characters I need to split this out. So basically what I'm saying is I want Q1 in one column and anything after Q1, or I want QX in one column, anything after QX in another column. So that's going to be two characters. And it's going to be the one far left. After I click on that and click OK, now you notice that my quarters are in a separate column. I'm going to give that a different name now. I'll type uh, quarter, double click that, type quarter, and might as well give this a proper name. I'll just call this name. Double click that header, type name. And now what I need to do is I need to pivot this. So at first I unpivoted data, but I need to pivot this data back because I want to have target and actual in separate column headers with the value uh, with the values correspondingly. So I'll just select this particular column and go under pivot column and I'm bring, I have the window that says pivot column. So I'm going to pivot this attribute to column and I want to pivot it based on what values. Well, this value column. Click OK. And now I have my target and my actual and I could bring it back into the Excel file. Click on home, close and load. And I'm going to click close and load too so I can select where I can load it to. OK, so I'm going to have this as a table and I'll just put it into a new worksheet. I'll click load and it's going to create a new sheet and it's going to bring in my data. So I have my data here now, right? Why not just actually copy this over, select it, control C to copy. Let me bring this back over so you can see what actually happened. 
and I'll just put it here, Control V to paste. And now you see that my table here that probably I got from somewhere else where I've got these multiple columns acting also as data, as value columns, I've got them uh, configured correctly now as their own header fields with the values within each of the corresponding cells, right? So I have Q1 here, item one, Q1 targets 277, and the Q1 actual is 101, all in its separate columns. So I can do additional analysis if I needed to pull this into a pivot table and do some slicing and dicing. So that's the way that we can unpivot uh, multiple columns from a table. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.